great to be here today. I'm really looking forward to sharing you the poetry that we have from the students and the performances from the researchers. So to explain a little bit more about the project, my name's Anna and I'm a researcher from Goldsworth University and I'm part of a team, like the others who are here today, called Park Life. And we've teamed up with students, you can see here, um, from Deckford Green School to see how we can research together our local park, which is Fordham Park in Deckford. And it's been such a great project and we really are excited to share it to you today. So for the last six months, we decided to focus on three themes that really needed improving in the park. And this was the litter in the park, the safety of the park, and also the youth engagement within the park. These are quite basic needs that we're asking other parks around the local area. And usually cleaner, they're safer, and they're generally nicer places to be. So why can't Fordham Park be the same? And that's why we're doing this work today. So, to, in order to explore these themes, we've used lots of creative tools like film, film and pictures and collage. And we've also interviewed teachers in the school and the students have come up with surveys to give out to their friends to ask them how they can improve the local park, as well as also interviewing the local council. And part of all this work, like Leila said, we've created a film, so it would be really, really good if you can scan it, share it, and share it around with your friends and family, because we really want to get a movement going with this. And what's quite unique about this film is that we use a 360 camera, which actually you can see over here, my colleague's got it, and um, it sort of shoots from all different angles, so it's like a sort of bird's perspective, and also you can see the perspective of like a little squirrel on the floor, and how they might view the park. So it's quite like a novel, sort of creative way to show these issues. So I think next I'll bring on Maliha, we'll explain a bit more about the advocacy day that we showed this film to local council, which was a brilliant day. The students did really, really well, so I'll pass it on to her now. Thank you. Woo! council members and authorities. The students had direct access to the people in power to talk about littering, safety, and youth engagement. They shared their creative work, but they also asked hard-hitting questions at a Q&A session. The students did not hold back, especially when it came to issues of littering and safety. I'm sure many of you in the community have heard about the local stabbing, uh, unfortunate stabbing of a boy who's aspiring to become a boxer, Tion Campo Pitter. The students want action, and the counselors underestimated how much and how aware these young people are on local issues. The students have done their research and asked questions by referring to official manifestos and policies on environment and park safety. They showed the authorities that they're serious about change, and they're not only asking for things that are promised to the community, they're asking for it at Fordham Park, at their local park. They've made a big impact, and they're not stopping here. This is just the beginning, and this is why we're here to share with you on People's Day. The people who are coming on next are creative and inspiring. We have Esme, who is driven. We have Ivana, who's a poet. We have Shador, who's determined. We have Loredana, who's unapologetic. We have Raf, who's passionate. We have Rajalina, who's bold. We have been so lucky to share part of this research journey with them and we are excited to share their work with you. I'm not going to say much more but ask you to help me welcome them on stage next. Woo!